y'all niggas is mad weird, bro. Like you're like they <clears throat> they finna go make a video and lie. They're gonna basically make a video and create a lie, another lie. Oh, um, they leaked our address. Oh, um, they they're discriminating against us. Oh, um, bitch, no. Y'all niggas was y'all niggas got an eviction notice. Y'all niggas was evicted. Okay, your landlord wanted your ass out the house, point blank, period. You're living above your means, point blank, period. These documents are public record, point blank, period. Clarence White's, those are real documents, okay? Y'all niggas, niggas really, really got filed on because y'all wasn't paying rent. Rent is due the first. Y'all niggas paid rent like latter, latter, latter portion of the month. <laughs> y'all niggas almost got sued if you didn't pay that $8,965 that y'all owed. That's public record. I didn't I didn't pull this out my ass. I pulled this from I I didn't pull it, but actually someone sent it to me. I didn't pull this out my ass. I actually somebody sent it to me and then I actually went to verify and, and it was true. Y'all niggas lived at the Huntsley apartments. And I don't just know that. It's it's niggas in this comment that's verifying, yes, you lived in the Huntley Buckhead apartments. I remember a video she did and I seen the name of, of of apartment in the background. These people, I don't even watch y'all videos, but these people be paying attention. Y'all dumbass should fixate the camera, not on y'all house next time so you won't get caught up like this. Y'all niggas is broke, okay? Y'all niggas is living a lie. Y'all niggas don't have no money, okay? Y'all niggas was really, really out here struggling, scraping to pay the rent because your ass was finna get sued and forcibly removed from the house because y'all niggas had no money. Put me like period to pay. Y'all niggas, niggas were told to vacate if you don't pay rent and a court order for eviction or whatever, a court order for eviction is filed, okay? And they say, and, and it says pass through balance due to pass through balance or whatever the case may be, and you get served for it. If you would have went to that hearing, not only would have you had would you have to have have had to pay them, but they would have forcibly told you to get the fuck out the, at, out the apartments that you can't afford, that you're living above your means, Point blank, period. So, I mean, <laughs> I wonder what lie now. Like, girl, you you a blowfish liar. You are a blowfish and you're a liar. Point blank, period. You sit up, you, you, you manipulate your little fans all the time, all the time. But not everybody can be manipulated. If it wasn't true, you wouldn't sit up there and try to make a whole video about it. You wouldn't worry about it. Y'all niggas was all evicted, point blank, period. Okay? And I, and I know her little slow ass fans is going to believe her dumb ass too. First of all, first of all, it's public record. It's in the documents. Like I said, people know, people, people, y'all need, y'all dumb ass need to hide y'all um, residents better because people really out here calling out that they verificate. Already, it's already verified, but more verification, you know, that y'all lived in those Huntley apartments that y'all couldn't afford. Okay. So basically the first of the month comes. You you don't give the landlord their rent. The tenth, basically, they file court. They t basically you 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 get evicted because you can't. You're not paying your rent or whatever the case may be. And then um you don't vacate the property, and so now they gotta file an eviction notice with the courts to get y'all dumbass to get out, and to give and, and to give their money basically. So way on the fourteenth you get served. Somehow y'all dumbass um you know, managed to scrape up the money. I don't know if y'all went into Chris's account and got it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Claire's don't work. So being that he don't work, I mean, I could understand why you would po probably be struggling struggling a little bit because you're like a whole single parent and you're like the sole provider of the home. So, um, yeah, I mean, the first of the month, you got to the first to the third to pay. And after that, they give you that three-day notice and, you know... <laughs> I mean, hello. And then after that, you don't pay. You 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 basically got to get out, and you you y'all didn't. And so you had to, uh, what is it? You had to vacate, and y'all didn't clearly. And so they had to really, really go to the court and file against you. It's public record, okay. And then, like I said, you got served and. Not the movie, but niggas got served for not paying their bills. Flexing on the gram and flexing on Twitter like they got it like that. G-Wagon, G, G wagons this, G wagons that's whole eviction notices. Whole evicted out here. Broke as fuck. 
playing a facade, lying. They're going to lie to their fans or whatever the case may be. They're going to come up with some type of lie or whatever the case may be because it's public record. It's accessible. They can go get it. Anybody can go get it. And they finally pay. Rent is doing the first. Niggas paid like the like on the 3,000th day, like on whenever they paid like the 14th and the case was dismissed, meaning they didn't have to go to court um, or, or to the hearing. The, the landlord got their money. The landlord didn't need to take them to court to sue them for the money and forcibly remove them from the apartment or whatever the case may be. They got them. He got his money and then he dismissed the hearing. So like. Like, who is you playing with? Y'all niggas is broke. Y'all niggas is living above your means, okay? You drive a G-Wagon, but you really, really, uh, you really had an eviction notice out here. You were, you were really evicted. Y'all really didn't pay y'all rent. Y'all really let that landlord draw up court documents on you for you to pay the rent. They gave you a judgment of vacancy. You had to leave. You didn't vacate. After you didn't vacate, he went to the court and filed to get the judge to force you to pay and vacate, point blank, period. Like, and so basically this is the this is the result of what living a lie and how people basically try to portray these images and how they try to, you know, um, pretend to be this and that and they be dead ass broke struggling. You don't really know how these people are living behind closed closed doors until people start pulling up documents. Because really what made the person, the source pull up the documents was because of the many reasons why niggas would say, Queen had said that they moved. First it was they were discriminating against us. No, first it was um, they leaked our address. Then she said they were discriminating against us. It was, and then after that, she said something else. So it was so many different reasons why they moved. So that particular person went and said, mm -mm, something's not right. She keeps telling different stories. That's when she pulled up the information. And it makes sense. Y'all niggas was lying because y'all didn't want to tell people the real reason y'all moved because y'all couldn't afford where y'all was staying. Y'all got evicted once. Okay. Y'all basically had to pay up. Y'all laid on y'all rent. You you buy a G, a G wagon and you want mansions or whatever the case may be, but y'all niggas can't even pay basic rent at an apartment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas always flexing tennis, tennis shoe collections. Well, you should have sold all of them and paid your rent, my nigga. You should have paid your rent, my nigga. That's embarrassing, okay? You're going to try to lie, whatever the case may be, but people, I mean, people know. You, you basically were not were no longer welcome on the property because you weren't paying your bills. You weren't paying your rent. And so, yes, expelled from the property. You got to leave or whatever the case may be. You got your notice and y'all didn't vacate. And so they went and, and filed against you in the courts. And basically, I found scraped up, borrowed whatever the money and you were able to pay and they dismissed the case. I can't make up case numbers. I can't make that up. I can't make up case numbers and I can't make up the clerk sign. I can't make up the deputy clerk um, signing the paperwork. I can't do that. I can't. But when they, what, 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 what people can do is go on the acts that they can go on the website themselves and pull y'all niggas up. With the, that's what they can do. They can pull y'all niggas up. That's what your fans can do. So before y'all little roaches come over here, make sure y'all go and pull Queen Nyjah and Clarence up first. Then then come at me okay i didn't pull this out my ass this is public record point blank period and some of y'all little dumbasses are still gonna you know ride for they broke ass and you know that and it's like if it's not true you really really pressed and you addressing it because it is true that's why and more than one nigga knows where y'all was living point blank period so like why like girl you broke you struggling yes you know your career is done it's the done done it's over with okay when you was with Chris your ass never had got evicted I never knew I never I never knew of that to happen he was able to balance the checkbook the money you was in your Houston home before you cheated on Chris with Clarence like the low hole that you are um you pretty much you know you didn't have these problems you know you you weren't embarrassed like this and so you got now you're living with a leech and you're living with a dude that don't work a nigga that basically is living off of you and he got you out here blowing money on on g-wagons he's not trying to tell you to fix your credit so you can be able to get your name on stuff he's not telling you to buy a house to secure shelter for your child and for for y'all kids no he's telling you buy a g-wagon and that's exactly why y'all ass got evicted that's exactly why y'all ass got evicted because y'all was focused on buying and splurging the wrong things. And no, you was focused on, you was desperately trying to keep a nigga with money. You paying niggas to be with you 
okay very insecure very desperate very 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 um low in self-esteem you know you paying niggas to be with you or whatever so you'll do anything to keep claire bear <laughs> you'll do anything to keep him he could spit in your face and you'll and you'll lick it because you so so low in self you don't even love yourself so my thing is you know, y'all was basically irresponsible. You know, this nigga never had nothing. He's from a basement. So, of course, he's going to act. He's brand, He's new money. Like, for example, I'm not a public figure, but I've been to Paris and back. I've had a good life. You know what I'm saying? And that's why these things that he brags about, is it's funny to me because it's like new money acts like that. Old money, we don't act like that. Okay? Like, no. Old money, it's like, okay okay but new money people who ain't never had shit they quick to brag like oh i got this i got that because they ain't never had shit but but people who but old money since they've been there done that they're not impressed i'm very unimpressed by any everything that you guys do because it's 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 been done before it's been seen like you know what i'm saying and then on top of that you're you're doing these things and you have a whole eviction notice at your door and you got landlords trying to put y'all out and suing you for money. And before you get sued and before you can get forcibly removed, you scurry and pay. And finally, they, they dismiss the case. So, yeah, y'all go access those records and look at, you know, the um, you look at his, it. It's under his name because, you know, the dummy puts everything under his name because she's desperate. So go look it up. And before you come for me and you can come for me, that's fine. You can off lock. And at the end of the day, that's not going to stop the idea and the truth that y'all fave is broke and lie to y'all and not living how she's truly living. So, oh, well, they already trying to make a video. And, you know, let, I'm just going to go ahead and put mine out because they're going to go and sit, sit there and formulate and conjure up some type of lie or whatever but i mean hey if they think that the gov if they think that p basically the re records you know official records and stamps and magistrates are wrong and if they're going to sit up there and lie and and act like you know these things don't exist like the courts and stuff like that like what then <laughs> then they are very crazy because it's public record. It's official documents and you can't escape that or hide from that. Okay. Y'all just didn't think that somebody would dig it up because y'all was lying so much. Stay consistent with your story. First, it was, oh, we moved because, um, um, we were, um, we were, what is, what is, what did this blowfish say? We were, um, Fans were coming to our house and they leaked our address. Then it was, oh, I was being discriminated against. Okay, so which one, sis? Which one? It was because of those, you're a known manipulative liar. So so basically, which one? So that prompted somebody to go dig. They dug and they found why. Y'all niggas got evicted and y'all niggas couldn't keep up with the tab of that rent. And that's why y'all had to move. Y'all niggas, niggas almost got sued and y'all niggas almost got forcibly removed from the apartment due to the fact that you couldn't pay rent. But y'all got G-Wagons, though. Lee, also, who's leeching off of you has a townhouse, though. You know what I'm saying? This girl is super dumb. You're so dumb. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. You don't even see what's going on. You sitting next to a nigga that's literally planning to leave you. This nigga's literally putting his whole team on. He's Every nigga is, that he know, he's putting them on. He got his sister to get a townhouse. He got Ma De God on Capitol Records website on a, on a track with you. He got... um. Who else? He got his mom's bathroom fixed. Like this nigga literally is is put, is taking care of his family and very much so using you to get himself right and out the basement that he was living in. He got out and now he's trying to make sure he's secure and he's trying to secure the bag, your bag from your dumb ass. And, you know, when he's ready to leave, he'll leave. You think he finna stay? Nah, sis, he not finna stay. He don't love you. Because if a nigga could say that you're not sweet heat, and if my God and Clarence could sit up there and say, oh, I would fuck her on a drunk night and you still come around them, that means you're really insecure and you do have low self-esteem. And, you know, you can't expect him to stay with you. If a nigga come on live and, and talk about your vagina and teach is trying to teach you how to wash it and it's clowning the fuck out of you, that nigga's not gonna stay with you. He don't love you. So your dumb ass is sitting next to a dude that done said your pussy stinks. That unsaid, you you sweet heat. I got videos of this nigga. He don't even want to kiss you. This nigga don't. This nigga don't even like you. 
this nigga done, they done disrespected the fuck out of you. I would fuck you on a drunk night and your dumb ass is still there. This nigga done, this nigga done got cars in his name. This nigga, this nigga done got, he's, he's basically lived the life. Okay. He's basically eating off of the table that Chris created because Chris was the one who literally made your girlfriend, your fake girlfriend that you're using just for clout and money. Chris was the one who told her to do YouTube. He made her. Without Chris, there would be no Queen Nyjah, okay? And so that's the, and, and you know, he's a self-made nigga. That's why you always popping at him because you a bum-ass nigga and you don't have shit going for yourself. That's why she bought that sewing machine for your ass to sew. You still won't sew. You still won't sew. But Chris is a self-made nigga, and that's why I like that. I like him like that because, you know, a, a man is a provider. You're not a man, you're not a manster. You're a girl. You're you're the you're the girlfriend, and she's the boyfriend. She's the head of household. My nigga, you don't work. Okay, you came up off of her. Chris got it from the mud. He was homeless. He put his his ex. Well, he don't refer to her as his as his ex wife, and I I don't blame her because she ain't shit. But his ex wife and and his baby. He made sure that they was straight and put them in a, an apartment and then moved them up to um the house in Houston, and was able to get them off food stamps. And I hear you talking about, oh, you were with Queen when, when she had nothing. My nigga, no. Stop trying to be Chris. You came, you you got with Queen after Chris finished molding and making Queen Nyjah. Because it was Chris that was there when Queen had nothing. When she was on food stamps and she was on the streets living in her car, Chris was the one with her. Not you, my nigga. Don't try to sit up here and, and, and lie so that people can, can feel like, oh, well, you know, so you can so so you won't feel so people won't think that you're using Queen Aisha when you you literally are. You literally just met this girl. Okay? Like literally. Like Chris was with her since high school and they came up together. They did the CNQ Mafia. What you mean you what what do you mean that what do you mean? What do you mean that you came up with her and and you had y'all was together when you had nothing? Nah, my nigga, you 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 looked up to them. You used to watch them, I heard they said. It was it was Chris that was there when Queen had nothing. He took them off of food stamps and he's the one that got them out the streets and, you know, um, got them out the car. He was the one that came up with the idea to even do YouTube and because because the little bitch didn't even want to do YouTube. So like she was the one he was the one that basically created a revenue so that they could make it. And now she's where she's at because Chris made her. Chris put her on. Chris put your bitch in a position. So my thing is. Chris done worked. Chris done created. He he basically did the groundwork. He lifted up. He built and built and built and built to the point where she she basically cheated on um Chris with Clarence. Yeah, by the way, you a liar, sis. You so you you such a liar. Because really what the people don't know is that when Chris got caught with those girls like in the latter portion of 2017 like August August um August or something like that. You was been fucking with Clarence and talking to him earlier than that. You were early 2017. You was been fucking fucking with Clarence and talking to him and cheating on Chris first, actually. And then when Chris cheated, that was your way out. You used that as a way out. You played victim, okay? Because that was your IG crush, remember? So you played victim and acted like um, Chris was this bad, bad demon when really all along in 27, you the one who made Clarence do YouTube. If you look at his about section on YouTube, it was created June or July, 2017. Yeah. You had made him do that. You encouraged him to do YouTube. You was been for, and when did those girls, um, get caught with Chris after the fact, like August, September ish or whatever, this bitch was been talking to Clarence way before Chris even got caught cheating. But what she did was, so people won't see her for the hoe that she is. And so people won't see that she really, really left. Chris and plotted to leave Chris for um Clarence she basically Chris fucked up and slipped up and gave this bitch a reason so she used his cheating as a way out and as soon as you know Chris cheated she ran to the divorce court and and just nine months after getting divorced this fast ass little bitch has a baby you conceive the same month you divorce because legend was born nine months after after you divorced April or whatever. So yeah, like you're a liar. I'm not, I mean, I don't understand how people even still, so you cheated first, you lied, you used Chris's cheating as a way out to go be with Clarence. You manipulated. And then now it's so you like, if you can lie about that. And also you did a video a long time ago saying I didn't cheat. You said you didn't cheat. Oh, it was been over with or whatever the case may be. And you were in a pink 
whatever you had on and you said you didn't cheat and not and then Kiran came out and then niggas like and then they say Kiran came out the drug dealer you was fucking with that sh- shot up your mama car you lied to your fans and then later on they found out about Kiran you're a liar okay you've been cheating on Chris okay so you're Chris is not the only cheater you're a cheater you cheated first if anything but you manipulated the public to think that he cheated first, but you cheated first, okay? But you're just a master manipulator. But sis, I'm a college graduate. I'm a nurse. You can't master manipulate me, my love. You slow as fuck because I under I understand your game. <laughs> I peeped it. So yeah, back addressing y'all broke asses. So basically, um, yes. Yeah, so basically, Chris was the one who started it, created it, built it, and this and and you, my nigga, you basically just sat at the table that he created. Kristen put the legs, the cha- excuse me, Kristen put the legs, the table together, and then he put the food on the table, and then he put the dessert, and yo, and you just a bum ass nigga from New York who came and sat down and ate. That's it. I don't even understand how you have the audacity to even think that you're like a somebody when you're a nobody. Real women, Queen is a weak ass bitch. She 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 doesn't have a self esteem. She doesn't have a backbone. That's why you can manipulate her and you know fuck with her because a real bitch, a real the bitch that you tried to talk to, that you was cheating on Queen with, that came out and said you was talking to her while um you was with Queen. Yeah, she's from the Navy. Like she's from she does army stuff or whatever. She got shit going for herself. I'm a nurse. I got shit going for myself. Bitches who got shit going for for themselves, smart girls who know a man's role is to be a provider, would never fuck with a bum ass nigga like you. I don't care how light skinned you are. This bitch got blinded by your looks, but you a bum ass nigga from New York and you contribute nothing to society. You're the reason why there's so many single mothers in America. You're the reason why so many single mothers they need help but they can't they, 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 from their baby fathers but they don't they, they 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 can't get the help because the baby father's a bum y'all niggas can't say anything i don't give a fuck if you a public figure or not y'all niggas is broke and y'all lying point blank period and y'all finna lie okay y'all finna cap okay the same way niggas pulled up my nursing license it's the same way you can pull up eviction notices that's the same way and this court document and it was filed by your landlord Okay, that you guys basically he needed y'all out and he wanted his money and basically I wasn't leaving and so because y'all not leaving he's gonna follow with the courts and for for past due rent and he's gonna basically try to get his money you know and if you didn't and 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 he was gonna take you to court to sue you to get the money and also forcibly get you out of the apartment because it was no rent rent was due y'all niggas didn't pull up y'all didn't show up when it was due. Okay, so that's the facts and of the matter, and it's legal documentation. Okay, and it was dismissed because y'all niggas found a way to pay, real late, like two, three weeks late. So y'all put on this facade. No, sweetheart, not everybody believes y'all bullshit. Not everybody believes the facade that you're putting on. Y'all niggas is broke. Y'all niggas is living above living above your means. Y'all put y'all y'all are portraying something that that y'all not. My nigga, you don't love that bitch. You know you don't. And she, <laughs> my nigga, like, you a clown, bro. I, I don't even respect you. Like, I can't even, you the type of nigga I would spit on. Like, my nigga, that's why I said the only, uh, the only girl that would fuck with him is, is a, is a queen. Cause she's a weak ass bitch. Like no real woman who, who knows her worth, who knows her worth and, and has self-esteem would date a Clarence. No bitch would sit up there and take care of a man. I'm never going to take care of a man. My nigga got to take care of me. My nigga got to be bossed up. You bossed this nigga up. You took him off the basement, out the basement, and you made him a boss. That's not a boss. A bitch bossed you up, my nigga? That's embarrassing. You are a tragedy to your son. What the fuck you finna teach a legend? What are you going to teach him? How to finesse a bitch? Yeah, definitely. You're going to teach him that. You definitely can teach him that, how to finesse a bitch. But you definitely can't teach your son how to be a man because he's going to know that daddy was using a, a weak, vulnerable bitch and got out the basement and basically made it to red carpets and didn't have to do anything. That's what you're going to be able to teach your son. But Chris is going to be able to teach his son how hard work and how if he were to be in a destitute position, how to get out of it because Chris did that. Y'all niggas, you always popping at Chris because you a jealous ass, envious ass, bum ass nigga. Chris is self-made, that's why you mad. This bitch keeping his son because she's a bitter bitch. Your bitch is not over your, your bitch is not over her ex, sir. Your, bi- your bitch is not over her ex, sir. That's why he's keeping the baby, sir. 
Like y'all a mess. Y'all get eviction notices, court filings, broke as fuck, lying to the people, 3,000 reasons why as to why y'all moved. Then you got like niggas like with bitches that are not over their ex. Bitches is keeping the baby, making babies fatherless as if the statistics of fatherless children are not high enough. Okay? Bitch, you grew up without you grew up without a father, and you're gonna let CJ grow up without his father. You're retarded. And then, and then I could go on and on. Just the hot ass mess of a like just fake as fuck. Y'all fake. Y'all so fake. Fake, 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 fake. And y'all fool gays. Y'all fake it in the, the riches that y'all claim to have. Y'all fake it in the, the job that Clarence thinks that he has. Y'all fake it in the, the, the title of head of household that Clarence thinks he has. That nigga is the wife, okay? With them tight ass shorts that he be wearing, he's a wife, okay? He's a wife. And niggas that don't work is a wife point blank period so i don't know what lies y'all finna go and tell the internet but i'm not finna watch our little stupid ass video because you addressed it only because it's true it's public record it's accessible y'all finna go lie and cap and y'all finna go make excuses and y'all finna go tell the fans some more lies and they dumbass gonna believe you and yada 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 but i mean no cap zone over here or whatever these were pulled public record baby point blank period you get you've been caught you've been caught baby broke as fuck Flexing, but broke as fuck. Living above your means. Period. Can't pay your rent. Evicted. Vacate. Told to vacate. Court filings, cause you wouldn't. So, so she, he was trying to get the, the, the um. He filed in a, the landlord filed an eviction notice with the courts to try to force you to pay his money and to get the fuck out of his apartment because y'all broke niggas. Y'all didn't pay him. And finally, I scraped up some change and paid him. Like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I didn't go to college for no reason. <laughs> I didn't study the streets for no reason. I know niggas like Clarence. I know bum niggas like him all the time. I know nigg it's dope boys that are way more productive than Clarence. Niggas on the streets that slang dope, way more productive than this. Way more productive than this nigga. All this nigga do is sit and collect this bitch money. That's crazy, my nigga. Like that's crazy. Like a whole meal ticket, a whole ATM machine. You're not Queen Aja, you're Chase. You're Chase debit card. You're not Queen Aja, you're Wells Fargo. You're not Queen Aja. What other bank is this? What, what other, uh, other banks exist? Chase, Wells Fargo. You just all the banks in America, girl. You're just an ATM machine. You the slot machine at the casino. You the, you, you the, um... You the lotto for him. He won the lottery. You the bank for him. You a bank account for him, okay? So my thing is, you could never come for nobody. None of y'all niggas. First of all, Clarence could never address. Nigga, you can't ever address me. I don't address niggas who don't work. You a bum ass nigga. I don't address niggas. Don't ever try to address a college educated graduate who done got a nursing license and started working as a nurse at 19 years old. My nigga, I'm not, I'm not. Don't you ever try to address me. Niggas like you, I spit on. I don't respect you. You're not a boss. You're not a real nigga. You are a bitch. You basically don't work. You let, you let a bitch take care of you you could never address me i don't respect you you're a female point blank period and um queen you're insecure you hella insecure you so insecure that you letting this nigga use you and you ignore all the signs that this nigga don't love you or whatever the case may be and you know you just sit there like a dummy and you know let him use you and like 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 girl you you begging for a ring what he ain't gonna give you no ring chris is the last ring you're gonna get <laughs> point blank period is and it's crazy because chris just proposed he, you didn't have to beg for a ring with chris but you begging for a ring from clarence because that nigga don't love you my nigga like are you stupid is you stupid like yeah is you stupid are you stupid please anywho Yes, yes, yes. Eviction, eviction, rent due. I ain't saying nigga. What is that song? It's a song about rent. Y'all know what I mean. Rent due. That's it. That's all I got to say. Rent due. Pay up, my nigga. Pay up. Stop lying to these people. Stop acting like, stop capping for the people and acting like you you living this life when you hold evicted out here. When you basically being told to expel the property because y'all niggas can't afford 8965 with the 998.72. My nigga, stop capping for these people, okay? Cap, 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 cap. Y'all niggas can't even afford a cap. And on that note, I am motherfucking out.
Ah, you mad. <laughs>